My Adventures with Superman had some doozies in this multiversal episode, and this show just continues to find new ways to surprise us. Let's talk about it. So episode 7 deals with the multiverse, and pretty much every superhero movie or show has been dealing with the multiverse. But what I like about how this show deals with it is that it just dips its toe into it. The multiverse supports the development of the characters and the story being told instead of completely overshadowing everything. For example, it focuses more on Lois Lane's feelings of inadequacy, and it helps Clark learn more about his Kryptonian heritage. You do still get all the fun stuff that comes with a multiversal episode, though. You catch glimpses of the old-school versions of Superman, like from the original animated series, or the Justice Lords version of Superman. That stuff will never not be fun. I also appreciate how this episode gives us a break from the purely tech-based supervillains. And don't get me wrong, I love the direction they've been going with all the supervillains so far, but I was starting to wonder if they're just gonna keep with the more realistic villains considering that they're all just in robot suits. But episode 7 thankfully answers that question with the introduction of Mr. Mixed Pitalik. I guarantee I'll say that name wrong later on. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Mixipitalik is an imp from the fifth dimension with reality manipulating powers. He can basically do whatever he wants, and he's famous for constantly messing with Superman. He's not really evil, he just likes to be annoying. I thought Mr. Mixipitalik was portrayed so well in this episode, especially with how he just kept on tricking Superman. Like, he definitely lived up to the reputation of being annoying. Like, I also really like the nod to the original design of Mixipitalik towards the end of the episode when he gets his little bowler hat and that's what makes him ultra powerful. Like, I appreciate that as a fan. But back to my original point, Mixipitalik isn't a tech-based villain, unlike the previous villains, so that gives me confidence that one day we'll get to see more abnormal villains like Bizarro, Doomsday, or even Darkseid. And this wouldn't be a My Adventures with Superman review without me talking about how adorable Clark and Lois' relationship is. I, I can't stop obsessing over them. Like, look at them. Look at that love. Like, ah! But now things might get spicy spicy since Lois found out that there are evil versions of Superman out there in the multiverse, and she has the one thing that can really hurt him. Kryptonite. Now here's my predictions with this, and, I'm, and I really hope I'm wrong, but I think in the next couple episodes, now that she has the knowledge that there are evil supermen out there, and that she has the kryptonite, I think Lois is going to start getting more and more paranoid and distanced towards Clark, and she might actually use the kryptonite on him out of panic, or she'll somehow lose it and it will fall into the hands of the general, who will then use it against Superman. That would honestly bug the crap out of me, because Lois and Clark just got back together. Like, I really hope she just immediately tells Clark what she found out and what she has, and Clark tells her to keep it, like, just in case he does turn evil. I, I just want the show to leave their loving relationship alone, like, to, to stop. They're so, they're so perfect and adorable for each other, like, they must be protected at all costs. Regardless of what happens, I'm still 100% invested in this show, like, I'm loving it. But what about you? What did you think of episode 7? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you missed my previous review on episode 6, click on the box right here. And if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, do the menage a trois, and I'll see you in the next video.